What's up, YouTube? We were actually gonna try and do a video today together. But he fell asleep. So, you got me today. And I'm feeling a little serious. I know we have a lot of lighthearted joking and fun. and Even in the midst of sweat and summer and recovery. You see a lot of love in this marriage. This is my third marriage. It's his first. We're actually uh, having a six year wedding anniversary tomorrow. Uh, we went down on a Friday to the town, town the closest town that did weddings by in front of the judge paid about 150 bucks and it was a done deal <laughs> he needed insurance and he had quit a job to move up here to be with me from five hours away and it was the right thing to do and we both felt like god was at the center of it and i've had marriages sorry where god wasn't at the center probably my first two <laughs> And got married on a Friday, started going to church that Sunday, called up my goddaughter, and she'd always invited me, and I'd always like hemmed and hawed, blah, blah, blah. And we went, started going to church right away. Oh, sorry. We were baptized together, which was really nice. Never, I think, in his or my heart did we ever think that he would relapse. But I'll be honest with you. I'm having a little PTSD um, from the trauma that we went through a year ago. It's kind of hard to talk about. But as we're coming up on a one-year anniversary of sending him to jail and it just the trauma and the drama and the broken heart and looking at all the crap on his phone after he did go to jail and and there was so much hurt so much anger so much everything um as we come up on that one year anniversary in a couple of weeks that's more the anniversary I'm focusing on. It's, it's just how how hard it was. It was hard. We nearly didn't make it. Uh, if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't have made it. I actually called the cops on him no less than three times. Three times. He was on probation at the time, so it kind of helped. It That gave me a little... A little more leeway in the situation where I could get in touch with a parole officer and say look he's messing up come get him and the first two times they didn't they called him he went in he talked to him blah 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 yeah yeah blah I'm fine blah 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 he wasn't fine he he was no longer in charge of his addiction it was in charge of him and almost a year ago I had after speaking with a uh, drug counselor from church and our pastor I made the call after I found some substances I said if I ever find it I, no that's unacceptable and I found it he admitted that he wasn't in control anymore which I think was huge for him to admit just how far he had fallen from grace and I, I think the job was the first time that he had made something of himself. He had been blessed to the point of making something of himself and he didn't want to fail. And it was a toxic work environment on the night shift. And one thing led to another. There you go. He failed. So we ended up calling the cops and he did two things that... Well, hey kitty. Please don't mess up my phone. He did two things that were in his favor 
three things maybe. He trusted me. Um, he trusted me with access to his retirement so that I could pay the bills because I wasn't working at the time. He trusted me um, with his phone. He trusted me with access to his retirement. And with those two things, and, and trusted me that I would be there for him when he got out so that we have a chance to sort it out with a clear with him being in a clear mind and we got through those 39 days in late July early August 2019 and at the end of 39 days they kicked him out the jail we're done with you go home he wasn't ready to come home <laughs> I wasn't ready for him to come home I think God was ready for us to be back together because I was getting used to being alone. I was starting to like it. No drama. It was quiet. I got a job. I was starting to pay the bills. I ended up cashing him in his retirement with his permission and, and paid the house, paid the mortgage for like six months so that I could transition back into working because I've been unemployed for two years. Another story in itself, but... And then December of last year, he used one last time. And I, we had started the YouTube channel. I tried to hold him accountable, but he's got to want it himself. And I finally said, listen, it's been over a year of the ups and the downs on the roller coaster. I mean, I can love you and leave you all day long. I can love you and leave you. If you keep doing this, I, I'm done. I'm done. And at that point, I think he finally, and he'd been doing some work on his own, but I think that was the last time he ever used. It was seven months ago. He's been clean. Trust has started to creep back in. Um, but it's hard. It's been harder this month. But the trust has been coming back. The love, the love was always there. Forgiveness pretty good, but it's hard to forget. It's hard. For, I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget, but I can forgive. I would have to say that God was with both of us throughout the whole thing. Um, I remember feeling like I should be a whole lot more offended and sad and hurt. Everything that I found on the phone and everything that we went through and all the lies and stealing and, and misery and God took a lot of that pain I mean I might have had my head in the sand a little bit I'll admit but God took a lot of my pain away so that I could function God helped him heal a lot of his childhood trauma that I think ultimately led, led, led to a lifelong history of self-abuse, self, um, what's the word when you, sabotage, self-sabotage, and we, we are healing, we're getting to that happier place, and still dealing with the fallout of all the, the self-abuse with all the medication, all the junk he took. But he's healing, and we're healing, and July used to be a bad month for him because that's when his sister died, and for eight years it bothered him. This year it hasn't, and this first year of July has been a bummer for me, even though we've been married in July, but just getting to the other side of the one-year anniversary I think will help. So... Put your faith in God to get you through whatever hard times you're facing, whether or not you stay or you go. Are you happy or you're sad? We got a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the world today. And your faith is what'll get you there. To the other side. What's the country song? You can walk through hell, just keep on going. <laughs> Don't look back. Uh, I think we both played that song in our heads. But uh, we're making it. 
and uh, I just wanted to share that it's not always happy but we are who we are in front of the camera we really are it's the sweat I'm allergic to makeup I'm sweating right now but we are who we are we're genuine I feel like we're genuine but there's a lot there's a level of pain there that we don't talk about a lot I think he talked about it last fall sometime but I guess it was my turn thanks for watching look to the Lord for all things he'll get you there y'all take care